y'all. So behind me here was a tiny house that was very dilapidated when we moved in. We've been clearing it out. Today I'm gonna do my best to clear almost all of it out because we're getting a mini Highlander and this is where I wanna set her. Her name is Zara and she's two years old and she's gonna need some shade so I want these trees here um, and I need to build a lean-to for her. So I got lots to do and a little bit of time so let's get to it. All right, y'all, I am trying to construct a about seven foot by five foot lean-to for Zara, our miniature heifer. So here's what I got going so far. Measuring, measuring, measuring. All right, mom's here helping me clean up all this debris. And I am trying to put the side on this lean-to for the cow. All right, y'all, here is how far I got. 
Here's the lean-to. It's got no roof. Um, and that's because as I was working on my lean-to, the seller stopped communicating with me. And, well, it was a scam. They were not selling a miniature Highland cow. And thankfully I didn't give them any money, but as soon as they asked for a deposit to hold the cow, and I'd already asked if I could come see it. Um, I had planned to see it on Saturday and then likely bring the cow home that Saturday. And then they said a deposit would be nice to hold her for you. And I said not until I see her. They stopped messaging me. So I didn't finish. We're going to get it finished. Um, we're either going to use this structure for goats or I'll store wood in it to cure. That's pretty crushing. So that being, that being really crushing, Daniel felt so bad. And so he went online and he started looking for miniature Highland cows and he found some and we reached out to this uh, breeder who has a website and we were making plans to bring uh, more than one to the farm. They were out of state. We were going to ship them here. And as we started a plan and we were researching them because they have um, numbers for those cows uh, because they're registered. We went to the registry website and we could not find this breeder on there, nor could we find these numbers. That was also a scam. So we have no plans to get miniature Highland cattle. Uh, we are considering getting Highland cattle. We have a friend down the road. I have a video of his farm in our channel and we may get some cattle through him eventually once we redo all of our fences on the property. Um, but just be aware, there are tons of scams out there, especially for Highland cattle because they're so popular right now. So unfortunately, we don't have any cattle, but we learned and we didn't lose any money. So win-win.